India to buy 31 MQ-9B drones from the U.S. for about $4 billion. For nearly $4 billion, the USA has approved the sale of 31 MQ-9B Sky Guardian armed unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, to India, with a budget of approximately $4 billion. The budget of the sale has created a controversy. According to the information obtained, the package includes 31 MQ-9B Sky Guardian UCAVs, 35 L3 Rio Grande Communication Intelligence Sensor Suites, 170 AGM 114R Hellfire Missiles, and 310 GBU 39BB Laser Miniature Bombs. On the other hand, it is known that the sale includes TPE 331 10GD engines, Select Sea Spray, ASA radars and other radars, MX 20 electro optical systems, and many additional sensors and logistics support service package. Although it is a very comprehensive procurement package, especially due to the sensors, the sale of the MQ-9 Sky Guardian UCAV to India draws attention with a budget of $4 billion. It is estimated that the unit price of each UCAV corresponds to $110 to $120 million when the additional systems are removed. The MQ-9B UCAVs to be sold to India have the same unit cost as 4th, 5th and 5th generation fighter jets such as the F-35A Lightning II, Eurofighter Typhoon and Dassault Rafale. The U.S. had recently approved a $611 million deal to sell four MQ-9 Block 5 UCAVs to the Netherlands. USA the State Department greenlit a potential $4 billion deal of General Atomics MQ-9B drones to India today, marking the latest move between Washington and New Delhi as the two strengthen their defense and security cooperation. In its notification to Congress, the Defense Security Cooperation Agency said the proposed sale will improve India's capability to meet current and future threats by enabling unmanned surveillance and reconnaissance patrols in sea lanes of operation and help strengthen the U.S.-Indian strategic relationship. The proposed package for the Indian military includes 31 Sky Guardian unmanned aerial vehicles, 310 small diameter bombs, and 170 Hellfire missiles. Associated radars and anti-submarine equipment for the maritime-focused Sea Guardian variant, a derivative of the Sky Guardian, were also included. Last June, the Indian Ministry of Defense approved an acceptance of necessity for acquiring the American drones for a high-altitude, long-endurance, hail, remotely piloted aircraft systems, RPAS, tri-service requirement. Between the Indian military branches, the Indian Army and Air Force will receive eight Sky Guardians each, while the Indian Navy will take 16 Sea Guardians. India previously leased two Sea Guardian drones in November 2020, following a violent clash in the Himalayas between Indian and Chinese forces that saw multiple dead, wounded, and captured on both sides. According to General Atomics, within two years the drones have tallied up over 12,000 operational hours in Indian service. From high-altitude warfare kits for troops in the disputed Ladakh region, to P-8I Poseidon, for maintaining maritime domain awareness in the Indian Ocean region, India has bolstered its imports of American-made equipment. Last year, Washington and New Delhi agreed to co-produce fighter jet engines and striker armored vehicles. Amid the U.S. Navy's call to seek foreign yards for repairs and maintenance of forward-based assets in the Indo-Pacific, Indian shipbuilders have stepped up in several agreements to allow the upkeep of American vessels. Mazgayan Dock Shipbuilders, LTD, one of India's largest yards, signed a mastership repair agreement in last September. American capabilities in Indian service have been deployed to monitor the ongoing events in the Red Sea. The Indian Navy's Sea Guardian drones and Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft were reportedly involved in the recapture of the hijacked MV Lila Norfolk in December. Thanks for watching. Subscribe Defense Labs YouTube channel for aviation and defense industry news and updates.